Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna show you in DaVinci Resolve how you can very easily color grade raw footage without any issue in a matter of hopefully under five minutes. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews, but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe. Here we are on to the color page of DaVinci Resolve and I have a clip of a red Komodo, but yeah, basically raw is raw. So um, I make that, that you can follow along very easily. First of all, with every time when you're working with RAW, you want to denoise it because the sensor or the camera does not apply any noise reduction, which the camera always does when you film in progress or like a normal uh, picture profile. So you're gonna go into noise reduction here. Um, temporal noise reduction, I personally use free frames, works best for me. Motion estimate tape, you're gonna choose better. And then here in this scene, it was daylight. Um, it's pretty manageable, so um, around 10 should do the trick. Then to better understand what the image looks like, I will bring it into a normal looking image. So I go into my curves because I like to use the curves for that. Bringing up the highlights and also bringing down the shadows to add contrast. That's basically everything you need to do when you want to bring it into a normal picture profile. Then I just bring up the midtones to where I think they look good. Then I also need to add some saturation. Then I go into the next node, saturation, bumped it up to 100 and it already looks really nice. So now I can go into my raw settings. Basically with red, I could have done it here inside um, the color space but that's that's not always the same with other cameras like for example Canon or Blackmagic it doesn't look so well as with red so therefore I showed it to you manually how you can bring log into a normal picture and now we are seeing what we are doing a little bit better so that's why I did that so first of all the white balance and here I think um, yeah uh, I want to bring it a little bit down to like around, uh, just keep an eye on the parade. Around here looks nice to me, tint, I don't do anything because that looks fine. And also ISO I could adjust to my liking, but I think also ISO 500 looks really fine here. So that's the beauty that I can change that in RAW. Um, everything else I don't touch at this point. So now I'm gonna color grade my footage. So um, I basically add a nail node by option L. And in the lower node, I will mark my skin tones, something like that. So now I'm seeing what I'm doing. So here I have already skin tones and I will soften that up. And I think also if the head gets a little bit off that. I think it's not too bad. Uh, also a little bit of the shadows here, just a little bit. And I will blur, blur it a bit, clean it, denoise it, and that's good to go. Now in the upper node, I'm gonna create the look for the background and I want to have an orange tear look. So I'm gonna go into the curves again, go to blue, and I push blue into the midtones. I'm gonna do the same with green until I have an image that I like, something like that. So if we compare before and after, yeah, it looks really nice. So now I go back into my skin tones and I will uh, boost them up a little bit here in the offset wheel, make them a little bit brighter because that's the most important thing in the image, right? So in the gamma, I will bring it a little bit more to orange. The gain ever so slightly, I will push it more to the blue because also the skin is affecting by the surrounding. So therefore in the highlights should be a little bit blue as well. And the shadows are like more red. Then in the Next note, I will just make some fine adjustments here, color boost a little bit up to my liking. And actually I like this image a lot. And at the very end, I just do, I go into luminance versus saturation and I pull out any color shift that might be in the shadows. 
Um, and that's basically what we've done right here really fast. As you've seen, it's not that different to a normal log image, but you have a extra responsibility, so to say, because you need to apply noise reduction and you have a lot more colors to push around, but actually everything else is the same and you might do um, like picking a color a little bit easier because you have more color information with 12-bit or 16-bit opposed to 10-bit. So that was it really fast for you. If you have any further questions, just drop them down in the comments below. If you like this channel, please subscribe to be updated for more content in the future. And I'm gonna see you guys in my very next video. Cheers!